Every day in the USA, people find themselves in court. Court is calling 2023 CR 5651, State of Texas versus Shalise Schnitz. Am I pronouncing your last name correctly? All right. <clears throat> Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Daniel Escobar for the state of Texas. Defense. Shannon Locke for Shalish Schnitz. And? It's Mr. Javier Garcia. All right, is he on the case as well? He is. All right, you, you want to announce for the record? Javier Garcia, go All right, so I have several motions before me. The first is the motion for defense to conduct an independent analysis of the defendant's blood sample. Did y'all re review that? So we need to look, my understanding of that motion is that defense wants to get the second vial of blood taken by BCSO in this case and send it to their own lab. I think the state has no objection. I think that's something that they have the right to do. Okay. All right, that will be granted. And of course, uh, the laboratory here will have to make safeguards and that's not in the court's purview to make safeguards for the uh, analysis. Right, Judge, my understanding is that the defense will have to, whoever is now analyzing the blood for them will have to pick up the blood from BCSO and there will have to be a clear chain of custody. So that's something that they're gonna have to do. That's correct, sure that the safeguards are in place. Judge, Quietly to the courtroom. All right, everyone, you need to whisper. All right, and then the motion to expect, examine, and test physical evidence. My understanding, Judge, is that the defense wanted in that motion to uh, take a look at inspect the vehicles that were involved in this case. Uh, my understanding is that they are in the Bear County, um, uh, they're in Bear County's possession. So that's something that we can try and facilitate. It's just coordinating everything with everyone. I know that the, the detective in order for us to inspect, he has to be there. All right. So do y'all still want to keep number one where it says that you are to produce the vehicles? Because I don't know if that's the proper wording. Just make just make available to us for inspection, Your Honor. All right. If y'all want to put in there to make available for inspection instead of uh, produce. All right, that will be granted. And then there's a request for no broadcasting. Is that correct? That is correct. All right. So the court has read the defense's motion. And what I can tell uh, the defense is number one, the court limits the number of people in the courtroom for security reasons, also for health reasons. I think everybody is aware of the brawl for want of a better word, brawl, skir skirmish, or whatever that occurred in the other courtroom. As everybody is aware, there are only a limited number of deputies. I have two deputies in this courtroom, and we almost had another incident here today that I think would have turned quite differently if the courtroom were packed. The court must have an open courtroom to the public, and that is how the courtroom is keeping it open to the public. So I read your motion and that motion is denied. Your Honor, may I make a, a little bit of a record on sure. that? Sure. Okay. Uh, and so Ms. Schnitz has some specific things that have uh, affected her as a result of the broadcast uh, over YouTube. Uh, and specifically, Your Honor, the open courts, one, we don't think that you need to close the courtroom uh, to uh, non-participants. Uh, so we object to the closing of the courtroom, uh, which we were just made aware of this morning. So we have that objection. Uh, we think it, the courtroom should be open to live audience members. Uh, Ms. Schnitz is in a very particular situation. Uh, she's in a custody battle uh, at the time, uh, currently, and uh, her ex-husband monitors these YouTube videos. He saves them and, uh, and, uh, and, and broadcasts her information to her friends and family and uses it in her child custody case. Uh, additionally, uh, Your Honor, uh, so I, I'm going to have Ms. Schnitz speak to that if, if she could. Sure. Can you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear from the testimony you give would be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you, God? Yes. All right. You can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Shelly. <clears throat> Shelly Schnitz. All right. Thank you. You may question. Are you concerned about uh, being broadcast on YouTube? Yes, I'm very concerned. And can you tell the court why? I'm very concerned because... Uh, my ex-husband, the husband of, of my daughter, who is... I'm sorry, the father of your daughter? Oh, the father, I'm sorry. Um, has been... Um, he is being investigated currently for abuse of her sexually. 
sexual assault and numerous counts, um, a very, very serious um, situation. Um, and he is using the YouTube videos and he's explained that in emails to watch what is happening on court to find the location of my daughter. Um, and I'm sorry. So also uh, he used to, he would come in person before. Correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, and, and now he, he knows where you are uh, because he can watch the broadcast. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Oh. I mean, yes, sir. Okay. And uh, when you, uh, additionally, you've had to uh, talk about your, your treatment situation. Uh, you're addressing your alcohol issue. We've had to do that in open court previously. Is that right? Yes, sir. And has he, he recorded those to your knowledge? Yes, he records those as and, well. And he lets other people know who are involved in your case? Yes, he, he lets over 20 people know and places it on social media and sends it out. Okay, and, and that's everywhere from Governor Abbott to Joe Gonzalez to uh, every, everybody that, that, that is also the principal of your daughter's school. Is that right? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. And uh, so at, at this point, you're left with a choice of either terminating these proceedings by entering a guilty plea or continuing to be broadcast on, on YouTube. Yes. Okay. And, that, and that's the, the choice that you're currently facing. Is that right? Yes. Okay. All right. Do you, do you want to be broadcast on YouTube? No, sir. It's very scary for me. Terrifying. No, that, that's all right. I have no further questions. Any questions? Nothing to say, Judge. All right. And the court will state again. Everyone is aware of the brawl, skirmish, whatever you want to call it, that took place in this courthouse recently. No less then I think 10 deputies or maybe more were summoned. There was a fight in the jury box where audience members came from the audience and attacked someone. And I will use the word allegedly, but I think everybody has, um, is aware of it. An inmate that was in the box. We just had what could have been a bad incident in this court today where deputies had to step in and escort somebody out of this courtroom. This is a court that needs to be open to the public. I am not going to allow people in the courtroom for safety reasons. I'm not allowing people in the courtroom unless they are a defendant, a person accused, or unless they are a witness. And those witnesses will be brought in when they are needed. The state will tell you, and other persons in this courtroom will tell you, anyone who is given victim impact, they can come in when it's time for them to give victim impact. But that is the way this courtroom will be, will be run. So for security issues, we only have two deputies in a courtroom, and we have a third, I'm sorry, sort of a third, and I say third because he's wearing his jacket, right? <laughs> but he's not assigned to this courtroom. So when you think about it right now, we have one, two, three, four, five people in the box and really normally only two deputies. And sometimes we have 10 people in the box. So the motion is denied and, and we're gonna come back and your Honor, on I, December 12th. Just one other, other question. Could you admonish people not to record the broadcast? Oh, people, uh, I am not in charge of broadcasting. But so what so, happens is people will capture, like they'll capture this event, they'll put it on other platforms. And what I can tell you, counsel, is in this courtroom with your client, I have never asked, nobody's ever asked, if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. Nobody's ever asked what school her child is at or asked any of that nature. With regards to a civil case, that's something that needs to be addressed civilly. This is a criminal court. But it, what happens, Your Honor, and the, and the problem is, is that this is now the YouTube broadcast is as much an official record as the court reporters. No, it's transcript. not. The, the court reporter's record is the official record. I made my ruling. You all are coming back on December 12th. On December 12th, I expect everyone to have their discovery in order. If there is more time that's needed to look at a vehicle, let the court know. If there are some issues with the blood, let the court know before the December uh, 12th setting. All right, Ernest Morales. Thank you, Your Honor. May we be excused? Yes, you may be excused after you sign the reset form. Thank you very much.